Hey, what's up you guys? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play Scopa, an old school Italian card game straight from Italy. And you'll see that it's really easy and even people that have never played the game before or don't understand the cards are gonna grasp absolutely everything by the end of this video. So follow me in the video and I'll teach you how to play Scopa. Come on. All right, everyone. So this is an Italian deck of cards, Modiano, Napolitan. So we're gonna open this. And what you got in here is 40 cards, all right? You have four suits, which is bats, spades, suns, and cups, all right? These are the four suits in Italian cards, which would be the equivalent of clovers, diamonds, spades, and hearts in American cards, all right? Now, unlike American cards, every suit only has 10 cards instead of 13. These are the cards. This is the ace, the two, the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, all right, this is the spades. This is repeated in every single suit, all right? The eight is what we would call the jack in American cards. The nine would be the queen, and the 10 would be what we call the king. Now, here's an image you could pause for a moment, which basically illustrates all 40 cards in the four different suits from ace to king, or if you prefer, from one to 10. Now, some of these may look funny for a newbie, but you'll quickly learn how to recognize them. Scoba is a game that is played one-on-one. -on -one. You could play two against two, but that's another game, which is called Scopone, which we'll cover in another video. You basically mix the cards, you have your opponent cut the deck for you, and you deal three cards to yourself and three cards to your opponent, and you flip open four. So, I will open my cards just for the sake of explaining the game, but obviously when you're playing, you don't get to see your opponent's cards and your opponent doesn't get to see your cards, all right? So the point of the game is to pick up one of the middle cards with an equivalent card if you have one. So these are my cards right here. These are my opponent's cards. These are the middle cards. So see, there's a seven here. I'm holding a seven here. So these are the same value. So I could actually pick up the card. So this is mine, these become my cards. So I just picked up two cards. Now my opponent has to play. He's got a seven, a two, and a seven. See, this is a 10, a 10, and a five. So he can't pick up anything. These are my cards. So he can't pick up anything. So he has to drop a card. So let's say he'll drop a seven. So now it's my turn. I got a three and a six. I can't pick up anything. So I'll have to drop, let's say, uh, no, actually I'm gonna drop the six. So it's my opponent's turn again. He could drop a two, or as you can see, he's got a seven, he could pick up the seven. So he decides to pick up the seven. My turn comes, I'll drop my three because I can't pick up anything. His turn comes, he'll drop the two. Once the whole six cards are finished, we deal another six cards, so three each. All right, again, we'll open them just for explanatory purposes. These are his cards, these are my cards. I could basically pick up an equivalent card or a combination of cards in the middle that matches here. So for example, remember the horse? We said this was a nine. So a nine means I could pick up a six plus three equals nine. So with this card, I could actually pick up two cards, a six plus three. So you basically keep on dealing hands until there's no more cards left and the last person to pick up the last card gets to pick up all the remaining cards that are on the floor, which in this case was the three of bats that was last picked up. So the player gets to keep all of the last remaining cards. If at any time I could pick up all the cards that are on the floor with one of my cards, it's what we call a shkoba. So as you would see in this example, there's a four and a two on the floor. Now, if I have a four, I could pick up the four. If I have a two, I could pick up the two. But if I have a six, I could actually pick up both cards. Let's see here. Look at this. I got a six in my hands. So by doing this, I'm actually picking up all the cards from the board. There's nothing left on the board. So what I do is I flip this six upside down and I put my card in my collected cards. This six right here by itself is a point which we will calculate at the end. 
All right, so the round is over. There's no more cards to be played. Now's the time to calculate the points. So as you could remember, I did a scoba with the six of cups, which is automatically one point that's added to my points. So basically I got a point here. Let's not forget it. So the first way of calculating how many points you have is you actually count how many cards you have. The person with the most card wins a point. So there's 40 cards in a deck. If you have 21 cards and over, you get a point. And if it's 20 cards, it's a tie. Nobody gets the point. So in this case, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 18, 19. I have 19 cards here. So I know for a fact that my opponent has 21. He gets the point. So it's one zero for him. Then the second way of calculating your second point is who's got the most diamond cards. Let's see. I have... One, two, three, four. I have four cards of diamonds. We know for a fact that there's 10 inside the deck. So I know for a fact that my opponent has six cards of diamonds. So he gets a second point. The third point of calculating who gets a point is basically very straightforward is who's got the seven of diamonds. Obviously, I don't have it. It's not here. So I know my opponent has it here. So we're, here it is. Here's the seven of diamonds. So this card right here is one point. So that point goes to my opponent. And the fourth and last point, which is the most complicated one to calculate, is called the Primera. Now, I will show you how to calculate the Primera but in a simplified way. This is not the real way of calculating it, but the way I'll show it to you is more simple for you to grasp if you're a beginner. If you really wanna know how to calculate it the right way, check out the link in the video. I'll put a link to another video that shows how to calculate the real primary, how to calculate it the real way. So the simplified way is basically the player with the most sevens wins the primary. So at this point, I have one, two, I have two sevens. My opponent has also two sevens, so it's a tie. Nobody wins, so it would be zero, zero. Now, like I said, the real way is to also add after the sevens, the sixes and the aces, but it's a bit more complicated. For this video, we'll stick to the sevens. At this point, it would be a tie. I have two sevens, my opponent has two sevens, so it's a tie. So if we could recapitulate everything we said, my opponent gets a point because he has more cards than me. He gets a second point because he has more diamond cards than me. He has a third point because he has the seven of diamonds, which is this one here. And the fourth point, which is the sevens is tied. So he doesn't get anything, I don't get anything. So he has three points and I have one point. You remember where I get my point from? From that scope, from that six of cups that I had, which I picked up all the cards with. This was one my one point. So at the end of this round, I basically have one point and my opponent has three. So what we're gonna do here is remix the cards, redeal another round, and this time my opponent's gonna be dealing. And we keep on doing this until somebody reaches 11 points or uh, 21. Some people might play till 15, some people might play till seven. You basically just decide at the beginning of the game how much you're willing to play up to. Um, but like I said, most of the time it's seven, 11 or 15. Those are pretty much the standards for Shkopa. Told you guys it wasn't that hard. I hope you liked the video. Like I said, you were gonna learn how to play Shkopa because Tony said so. So please smash that like button. Like you would smash a scope. You know when there's a scope with those old men, they go, Shkopa! That's how I want you to smash that like button, all right? So please, smash the like button, hit the like button, scope the like button, just do something with the like button, all right? I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.